Hi everyone. Right, um, I didn't. I was supposed to go to the car boot this morning. There was one held at the hospital, local hospital. But because I was so late to bed doing that bird cage, which I am going to come back today and do a tutorial on, I was just so so tired. <laughs> so when Ray woke me up, he went, "You're not going, are you?" I went, "No." <laughs> so Ray actually went, and he did well as he normally does. So I'm going to start with these. Raymond happened to find, on the first stall he went to, some pink birds. And I know Trisha's going to like these because she loves pink and shabby chic. But look at those. I mean, the feathers and that weren't sorting out, but you just put new ones on. But aren't they gorgeous? They really are. They're stunning little birds, look. And they're all pink. And I will be taking the wires off because I don't like the wires on at all. Um, so I'm not sure it's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve in there. Um, and you may find some in your parcels because he didn't just find one, he found two. <laughs> I was absolutely thrilled when he walked through the door with those. Brilliant, loved them. He did well. There you go. <clears throat> Now we also got some of these, the ribbons, organza and silver, and then just the silver one. So you got three of those. Then he came and said, uh, you like butterflies, don't you? Well, I do like butterflies. I love butterflies, as you know. And it is my colour. So he got that. But I have to say, I won't be keeping it because it's not my type of... Um, how can I say it's not my type of um there won't be a project I would put that on so you know I am going to let that go somebody will get that it is gorgeous I do love it it's velvet and this is all beads seed beads gorgeous seed bead things but it's just too big for the kind of projects that I do and it, it does clip so you got that okay he also found this, which I am putting on my Etsy. I'm going to put that. Um, he didn't want to leave it, he said, because, it, you know, it was purple. It's all in velvet. A uh, little beaded thing there. The rosa. And this, it, it is gorgeous. It really is. But I don't want it, so somebody else may have a chance to own that. And that will hang. So he found that. Now, let me just make sure I can accommodate all of these. Then he found six of these, the little boxes. So you might find them in a project to, um, you know, alter, you, you know, um, to do something with. Um, scissors. <coughs> he came back with five pairs of scissors. And I actually don't need scissors. I have to say, I do not need scissors. I have heaps of them. So uh, what I will do is um, I'll probably put those up on the Etsy going cheap. Anybody wants them. Just what I paid for them. Or what he paid for them, should I say. Um, and then, he, I don't know why he came back with this, but he said, oh, I thought you'd like that. I think it's gorgeous. It is beautiful. But again, it will go up on the Etsy for what I paid for it. Because Well, he paid. No, it's my money he took. <laughs> um, uh, because it's just not something I would keep. Uh, for one, I don't have the room. And two, I don't have anything whatsoever like that. But somebody might like that. So, you know, if there's an interest, I will be putting it up on Etsy. Cheap. Um, and then he found somebody selling uh, butterflies. Uh, these are the springy ones, which I think, I mean, I have had these before. They're brilliant. And uh, on clips, like that. And he said, oh, I bought them all because I didn't think you'd... Uh, I knew you could do something with them. So there you go. Uh, and then he bought these from the same woman. I like those. I think those are cute. Um, so again, these will just get used um, to go in gifts. So the next few parcels will probably get these in them. So you can do what you like with them. Because these are useful. Take these apart, take that off. 
you know, you can just dismantle them or use as is. But it's a shame um, not to do something with them because they are pretty and then one in blues and yellows. So that's that. Uh, then he also found this one. Which I'm going to put on my birdhouse. I'm actually going to put that one on my birdhouse. I'm going to leave that out. I don't need the tubs. And then that one. So she needs bending back. I'm not sure which one I'm going to put on my birdhouse. Just in case you didn't see them properly. Those. Okay. I shall see which I want. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Oh, I'll, oh, then he found those, which are like little earrings in reds. They're quite pretty. So somebody will probably find those in, a, in their, their uh, parcel. And then that one, which again is quite pretty. And they're enamelled. So that's that one. Okay, we just pop the things. They're no good, those. Then he found this, which is a buckle. It's part of a buckle. Isn't that gorgeous? Love that. So that will go in my box of goodies. I like this. He found that brooch. I'm not sure if he's a little girl. No, he's a lady. He's not a little girl. See? So again, that goes in the box. And he found these pearls. Now, the, the, this is no good, of course. I don't want the flower. Although I do look to see how it's made. But I won't, I won't waste it. That will go um, in the flower drawer. Uh, and they will get dismantled. So that's those. They also found it in that colour as well. Actually, the flowers are quite nice. All done from Organza. Yep. So that's those. Nice pearls. Again, large pearls again, so they look nice for either charms or a bit of steampunk uh, trim there. Pearl bracelet in glass pearls, quite heavy that one. More glass beads. Black glass ones. Oops, a daisy, just dropped one. Oops, a daisy. Again, pearls. And beads, different beads, small pearl one, pink one, glass beads. These next ones are not glass, but they're ideal for charms. Or you could use them in a stick pin, to be honest. So there's that one. Coloured pearls, I do like coloured uh, beads, I do like these. They look nice in, in projects and on uh, different things. Some red beads. And those are quite nice. They're like uh, three sides. Nice colours. Some jade. Jade bracelet. Um, and then he found this string of... Per oh, look, straight in the bin. Go on, lady. Oh! Uh, like a headband. Pearls, but they always come in handy. Never turn a pearl away. Another glass bead uh, pearl one. And then... Uh, oh, there's another glass one, smaller one. But then he found all of these. Again, they're all pearl. So all of those are all individual ones. And the pink shabby sheet ones, beautiful colour. Um, and the last one, she it was tangled, so he said, oh, cut it, he says, because the wife's going to cut it anyway. <laughs> he knows me so well. Was there another large one that... Um... These are on the acrylic beads, but they do look nice on your stick pins with your glass and your... Um... <sighs> with what? <laughs> uh, crystals, couldn't think. So, straight away they go in the pot. That's what he came back with, but I thought he did awfully well. 
We did really well, actually. So I will get to dismantling all of that shortly. Now, um, regarding the birdcage that I did last night, I have to say, I know it's it was a bit shabby. Sh when I say shabby, not shabby sheep, but shabby shit, basically. <laughs> and if you're drinking your coffee when I said that, don't spill it. Um, oh, I don't pull no punches and I speak as, as I am. Yeah, um, right, I will be coming back to do your tutorial shortly on that birdcage. It is easy and I have to say, this is what it's made from. Can we take the camera a little bit? Um, it's just the Michaels chipboard, already scalloped, and I think I used uh, four or five, five, five pieces on it. So I used two of these, and they're a dollar for the book. Or, or, I think these were a dollar when I got them, but... Um, I think they're now $1.50, something like that, in most of Michael's stores. So there you go. And um, easy to do. This is already cut for you. You only have to cut the roof off there. You know, two of those, just them together. So I will come back and show you. And what a great way. And I, I think it really came out nice. When I look at it this morning, I'm thinking, well, <laughs> the paint job was rubbish. But I'm, you know, working with just a small lamp. Um, but I, I, it was in my head. I'd seen um, somebody's video on bird you know, bird houses, and I, th I said to Tricia, we were online together, and I said, you know, I think I'll make something like that, so I did, I had a picture in my head straight away, so I had to, I could have drawn it, but then I thought, no, I'll put it together and see how it goes together, and if it goes together all right, then I will go and do a tutorial and show you, because they're not, it's not hard to use chipboard to build anything really, so um, that's what I've done, I've made the model, and I shall now show you how to do it. Now, though, of course, when you make things, you know, oh, I wish I'd done this or I wish I'd done that first. I just put it all together and now I know what I would do. Because obviously you do put the whole model together, then you paint it. And I would paint everything else individually before popping them on. It does make it easier. Um, whoops. Let me see what these are like. Oh, old-fashioned ones then. We shall see if they cut. Shall, do they cut? Yep, that definitely cuts. Yeah, that cuts. I mean, they are old, but... Um, well, they're mine. <laughs> yeah, they all cut. Um, five sets of scissors here. Anybody needs scissors, let me know. Email me. Just email me. And uh, I'll pop them in the post here. I don't need them. If they'll help anybody out, you can have them. First come, first serve. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Absolutely love these birds. He's a good man. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye for now.